Number 40, letter A. What is the available energy content in joules of a battery that operates a two watt electric clock for 18 months? All right, so let's write letter A over here. So basically what we need to do is we're, we need to calculate energy, right? And um, we are being given power in watts and time in months. So we need to think of a mathematical relationship. So over on the right hand side, I mean, really there's two formulas that we can basically choose. It won't really matter regardless. I'm gonna choose this one over here. It says that power is equal to the work divided by the time, right? So uh, they gave us power in watts, so that's great. That's what we need. So two watts of power will equal then the work, right? And that's what we're looking for because work is in terms of energy, right? In terms of joules. And now that will be per unit time. But the thing is the time here has to be in seconds. But what did they give us the time in? They gave us the time in months. So no big deal, right? We just have to do a quick conversion. So let's do 18 months. Yeah, so 18 months. And we got to break that down into seconds, right? So uh, being that we're given, why don't we actually convert the, why don't we convert uh, months to year? All right, and then we're gonna go uh, back just because I might have to estimate then how many days there are in a month and right, some months change, but it's much more accurate. There are 365 uh, days in a year, right? And 12 months in a year. So I think that's a lot easier to do. It'll, it'll be a little more accurate, although it probably won't change by much. So let's uh, let's do this. So let's do, so there's 12 months in one year. All right, so we got rid of months. And now let's go all the way down to seconds. Okay, so year on the bottom, day on the top, uh, 365 days in a year. So years are canceled. Then we got days to hours, right? There's 24 hours in a day, so that cancels. And then hours to seconds, we know that there's 3,600 seconds in an hour. Okay, great. So let's just do the conversion. So 18 uh, times 365 times 24 times 3,600, all divided by 12. <clears throat> so this works out to be four, oops, 4.73. 4 4.73 times 10 raised to the, so we got three, six, seven, times 10 raised to the seven, and that is in terms of seconds. Okay, so this is the time value, and now this is the value we're gonna plug in at the bottom here. So this is gonna be 4.73 uh, times 10 to the seventh. And all we have to do is do a cross multiplication here, right, to solve for the work, which remember is in terms of joules, so this is that value multiplied by two. And now we get uh, 9.46, uh, 9.46 times 10, sorry, times 10 raised to the seventh. Okay, and that is in terms of joules. So that, that is the uh, amount of energy. Okay, great. Now let's take a look at letter B. I'll write it over here. And let's read the question. How long can a battery um, how long can a battery that can supply 8 times 10 to the 4 joules run a pocket calculator that consumes energy at the rate of 1 times 10 to the minus 3 watts? So again, right, we're looking for time this time and um, we're given power in watts and then we're given an energy. So I can basically use the same equation, right? So in this case, it's going to be power is equal to work over time. <clears throat> the power they gave us, uh, they gave it to us in watts, which was nice. So we don't have to do any conversions. And the work is in, right, it's a form of energy. Therefore, it's in joules here. So this is eight times 10 to the fourth. And then all we have to do here is just divide it by uh, time, okay? So let's see what the time uh, works out to be here. So let's see. So basically, right to solve, all we would have to do is time would be equal to eight, eight times 10 to the fourth divided by one times 10 to the minus three. Then we basically just add the exponent up there. So there's gonna be eight, let me do sig figs. Eight, uh, oops, 8.00 .00 times 10 to the seventh, All right? And that'll be in terms of seconds. So it doesn't really ask us, you know, it, how they would like the time. We can leave it in terms of seconds. I can convert it to months, years, whatever they want, uh, but, since they don't ask me specifically, this should be an acceptable answer. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. 
that'll help support us and enable us to put out uh, many more videos for you guys. And uh, I look forward to helping you with the next question. All right. Have a great day.